Ping supporters chanting to the end. Xi Ping is not ready to accept the Constitutional Court's decision that he lost the elections. He called for calm and asked his supporters to stay indoors, saying he will fight for the people. The government warned more violent protests could lead to his arrest. Already, some of his supporters have been detained. How are you feeling? Are you feeling confident? Of course. Why? Because I'm confident. Because I won the elections. Because the people is with me. At the presidential palace, Ali Bongo's supporters celebrating their victory. The president calls for dialogue with the opposition, but Ping supporters say they don't trust Bongo. Disappointed with the outcome. Away from the crowds, Louise and Dem. Praying for Gabon. Too many have died, she says, trying to bring to an end 50 year Bongo family rule. All night, I couldn't sleep. I didn't want to sleep. I walked here because I couldn't stay at my house. We are tired. We are tired of this politics. We are tired of it. We have children who don't work. Protesters took to the street after Bongo was announced the winner back in August, burning the parliament down in anger. The vote was tight. Jean Ping challenged the outcome, appealing to the Constitutional Court. The judges recounted the vote and noted irregularities in both camps. Bongo was ruled the winner. There's been accusation of electoral fraud before in Gabon. What's new is the level of violence seen on the streets. The ruling of the Constitutional Court cannot be appealed, it's final. And so security forces have been deployed across the country, the government says, to maintain law and order, but also to ensure that the ruling is respected. For Louise and Dem, the fight is not over. Nor is it for Jean Ping and his supporters. And this could bring more uncertainty and instability to Gabon. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Libreville.